Vice President Mike Pence calling out former President Obama for reinserting himself back into politics ahead of the midterm elections. The VP saying this unusual move could backfire on Democrats. Here's part of what he told Chris Wallace on Fox News Sunday. It was very disappointing to see President Obama break with the tradition of former presidents and become so political and roll out the same tired arguments that he and liberals have made over the last eight years. The truth is the American people in 2016 uh, rejected the policy and direction of Barack Obama when they elected President Donald Trump. Former Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz joins us now. He's a Fox News contributor and the author of the new book out next week, The Deep State, How an Army of Bureaucrats Protected Barack Obama and is Working to Destroy the Trump Agenda. Jason Chaffetz, good morning to you and welcome back to the program. Good morning. If I could ask you your thoughts on former President Obama reinserting himself into the political arena, is that fair? Well, Vice President Pence is absolutely right. As the tradition, the presidents usually don't do that. Look at how both of the President Bushes dealt with it. Uh, they were very graceful in their exit. Uh, they kept quiet. I'm sure they disagreed with President Obama, but they didn't say anything. They didn't do anything. But I think what you're seeing is that President Trump is tearing apart the Barack Obama legacy that he put into place. Uh, Obama built a, a legacy built on sand, and President Trump has come in and fix that, move this, co this country in the right trajectory, um, and it's upsetting, I'm sure, to a President Obama. And Vice President Mike Pence on the Sunday show went as far as to suggest that this could backfire on his own party, on Democrats. Do you think so? I think he's reminding the country of how bad the policies were and put into place. Look, if the country wanted to extend Barack Obama's legacy, they would have voted for Hillary Clinton. But 30 of the 50 states overwhelmingly went in the direction of Donald Trump because they realized that foreign policy wasn't working, they realized the domestic economy was suffering, and that there was a better, smarter way to do that in electing a disruptive president, somebody who's unconventional, in Donald Trump. But look how much more effective it's been. And I think the effectiveness of the Trump presidency is really tearing at the at the heartstrings, if you will, of Barack Obama. Meanwhile, I've got to throw to this sound of President, former President Barack Obama on Friday at that rally, talking about Benghazi and the Republican Party. Watch. The politics of division and resentment and paranoia has unfortunately found a home in the Republican Party. Embraced wild conspiracy theories like those surrounding Benghazi or my birth certificate. <laughs> it's not conservative. It sure isn't normal. It's radical. Obama accusing the Republican Party of conspiracy theories like those surrounding Benghazi. What did you, how, what were you oh, thinking when you heard that? Oh. Oh, I'd love to have a conversation with President Obama about that. Remember, it was President Obama that took the United States into war with Libya. And in an interview with Chris Wallace on Fox News, President Obama said the worst mistake of his presidency was dealing with the aftermath of Libya. There were four Americans that were killed, and President Obama, on his watch, refused to send anybody into Benghazi to go help those people. It took the FBI 18 days to get in there afterwards and try to go figure it out. It is offensive to the men and women who served in Libya, who served this country, and who served in the United States military because that president, President Obama, failed to act. And you know what? Nobody on the campaign trail brought this up except President Obama, and he is fundamentally and totally and wholly wrong. And people like Tonto and, and Tig and these people who put their lives in line and saved dozens of people. Well, thank you for bringing I, that I up. Shame because on Chris, the president for saying Chris that. Tonto Pronto came on to respond uh, to those words of the former president. And of course, he was the private security contractor who was part of the CIA team who fought back that day in 2012 and watched yeah. his response. I honestly believe he thinks that didn't happen. He did nothing wrong that night. He sent no support that Benghazi was just made up. And, and you know, we, we, we lost two of our friends, and, and it, was, it was a fantasy. Uh, it, it's, it's disgusting. Again, trying to rewrite history, but that's the left. That's what they do. They, if it doesn't fit their narrative, if the history doesn't fit what they want to, what their agenda is, they're going to try to rewrite it. Final thoughts from you on that. 
God bless Tonto and, and his friends that were there to help save the rest of those Americans. But four Americans died, and President Obama will not rewrite history. That happened on his watch, and he failed to protect them, and he never did send anybody into Benghazi to save those people, and it was within his power to do it. Jason Chaffetz, the former congressman, thanks for your time this morning. Nice to see you.